take things back to zero here for a second. This is how I record an uh, automation track uh, using surround sound, at least the surround sound panner. So we go up to here. This is normally where it says it's your automation mode. Uh, we have read, touch, latch, and write. We're going to go to touch. Normally it's on read. And what that does is as I move a control around live, it'll record the motions uh, as I move them. And touch allows you to go back over and over and change it as much as you want. The other thing that I do is I set from uh, here. Normally it's set to stereo output. I switched it to surround. You can also do it to whatever you want, but surround gives me, if I double click on this, once you hit surround, this comes up as a surround pan. So you double click on that and you get the surround panner. And in here, I've got quite a bit of an audio set up already for the short film. Uh, with the effects and so forth. And this was ADR that uh, Ninja had done a little bit um, prior. And so what I'm going to do is start it off in the center here. Wherever I move this, I'm going to try and keep myself here at the center. And I'm going to record where her head movement is by sight. Now, the way I do that is through, we pull up our movie. Normally, uh, this is of course when you import a movie track uh, and you import the audio and add, layer a bunch of uh, stuff onto it. So you double click on it, normally it goes away. And as you start playing, you click on the background, it'll start showing up over here. You double click that, you can move it to wherever you wish. So I'm going to keep it here close to the action of the panner. And I'm starting it off about here. And we've got her center. So I'm going to take this as my camera center. And wherever her head moves, I'm going to try and uh, move her accordingly. And because it's on touch, it'll record my motions. So I hit the space bar, and we go. Okay, so that records exactly what I did. So when I hit the space bar again, because of how I have it set up, it's going to return back to center and you'll get to watch the automation as it's played. And we'll see how well I did. Now, it sometimes is tricky. You've got to run this a few times till you get it fairly close. But what it does is it will pan it into the separate speakers or in your headset. If you're using just a dual headset, you will get uh, left and right channels uh, with varying volume intensities. But the really cool part is it records all that animation for you. And that gives you a little depth to the audio track that most people don't even think about. But it's just a little touch that you can add to your movies and short films. And that is how you use the surround panner. Uh, there are other settings and other things to do, but this was just the simple application for just the panning. And if you enjoyed it, uh, please subscribe and uh, please share it. Thank you.